Hello my dear children, this is Shamin Hurley and I am back with the third part of the chapter Sources of History. Who are historians? Historians are the people who study literary and archaeological sources and help us to learn about the past. They study various texts that are available and interpret them to learn about the past. So children, historians are the people who study both. They study the literary sources as well as the archaeological sources and then help us to know about the past. Okay, they study various texts that are available and interpret. Tell us more about the past. Need to preserve sources of history. The sources of history help us to understand our heritage. We learn important facts about the events of the past and learn lessons from them. So children, it is very important for us to preserve the sources of history because it helps us to understand our heritage, to follow our customs and traditions, right? We learn important facts, means the truth about the past. We learn about the events that took place in the past and these all teach us different lessons. Therefore, it is important to preserve these sources of history so that we do not lose the knowledge of the past. They contribute in preserving historical sources. So children, it is very important for us to take care and preserve these sources of history so that we do not lose the knowledge about our past. We should take care of it. We should preserve it because these all contribute in preserving the historical sources. Our government is also taking a number of measures to protect valuable artifacts, manuscripts, monuments and inscriptions which are of historical importance. So children, it is not only our duty, but it is also our government's duty. And they are taking measures to protect all the important artifacts, the manuscripts, the monuments, as well as the inscriptions. And for who they are taking care of, of it for? They are taking care of it for us to know about our past. We as citizens of our nation should always protect and preserve the sources of history. So children, because we are living in this country of ours, we are the citizens of our nation. So it is our duty to protect and preserve these sources of history. We must not destroy our monuments or artifacts and also make others aware of the importance of these sources of history. So children, we must never destroy our monuments or the artifacts and we should even tell the other people, we should inform them not to spoil or destroy any of these things because these are of great importance. These are informations that are given to us from our past and we will only send it across for our future. So children, with this we have come to the end of our second chapter, Sources of History. I will be giving you some questions to solve. Kindly solve it and send it to me on my personal WhatsApp number. Thank you so much my dear children.